taking care of lots of patients uh, who needed isotretinoin in our practice for many, many years. So in order to be able to collect information on how they're doing with their isotretinoin, as well as to come up with a routinized way to assess signs and symptoms of isotretinoin in adolescents, we created a, a form note that's actually a symptom survey. And we had patients, uh, as we do in our practice every day, who come back on isotretinoin, fill out the paperwork, listing the typical signs and symptoms that might be related to their treatment of isotretinoin. And we were able to catalog over 700 months of patient therapy on isotretinoin in our adolescent population. We've also looked at this from a data standpoint. It was rather intriguing. We found, as expected, that common side effects are pretty common. The dry lips and dry skin associated with isotretinoin are very common. We also found a very low, low level of uh, mood swings, uh, depression, uh, or other psychological uh, symptoms uh, in the population. So putting together our, our data, we found that uh, isotretinoin is generally very well tolerated, both in early adolescence and later adolescence. They generally tolerate the medicine quite well. There is a low level of psychological uh, side effects uh, uh, that can be seen in this population, most of which are not persistent and most of them which are not truly severe depression. Summary is that it's nice to have this particular tool, a form-based note that can be used practically in your practice taking care of isotretinoin patients and a good way to assess any problems they may be having uh, with their isotretinoin.